So this summer, we have two parts to our project. The one we're outside doing today is for the endangered king's hair streak and we're trying to find the caterpillars and then get a bit more information about where they're at just so we have more information to figure out where to start looking for them in other places. And then the second part of our project hopefully will be at the zoo with the more common gray hair streak and that's on larval color polychromatism. Larval color polychromatism is a fancy word to say half the caterpillars are pink and half the caterpillars are green and they're both of the same species and we're trying to figure out why. Yeah, working with an endangered species has definitely had its challenges. Uh, the king's hair streak has a host plant where it feeds and lays its eggs, so we kind of started with that and looked around for places where we could find the host plant. After locating those areas, we've set up plots to look in those more specific areas. Overall, we're trying to look at the behavior of the caterpillars, whether they're feeding on like the new buds of the leaves or whether they're high up in the trees, just so we know to look for other species and at later sites. Also, just for better protection, if we know what type of area it is, we also can say, okay, don't burn this specific area because I know a lot of areas around here have prescribed burns. If you look at the rare species list, most of the animals on it are invertebrates. And there is no way that we could do everything, but having other people take an interest in some of these species and want to go out and do the work and gather the data is so important and it's great to have data that we wouldn't otherwise be able to collect and it's just a great working relationship. I love seeing them take a project from the beginning to the end and be able to actually publish it ultimately. Um, so, you know, starting the project, writing a proposal, which they've already done. Um, they've already presented their work at the Salisbury Conference this past spring for their intentions of what they were going to do this summer. Um, they also wrote a agrary proposal, which is why they have funding for this summer. And then in the fall, we hope to write up all of our findings in publication format. So, you know, going from the very beginning to the end is exciting for me to watch them do that and learn all along the way.